Hi, my name is Tim. Welcome to my channel. I'm a flooring and stair contractor, and today I'm going to show you how we made quarter round out of our flooring to finish off our kitchen cabinet. So without any further ado, let's hit it. So beautiful, you and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. All right, so before we get started, you're going to want to definitely check out our previous video where we showed you how we made these toe kicks out of the flooring. Now we're finishing off the areas where we couldn't put toe kicks with a custom made quarter round. And here it is. Look at this. Here is an actual piece. This is how it's going to sit just like that. Just like that. See how it hugs the floor? It's a lot smaller than quarter round. It sits super tight to the floor too because it's a 45. Now all we did was we took our fence and set it and set our saw blade on our table saw on a 45 and we set our fence and we ran it down the fence and this is this is what we got really simple um, and we're able to use this in areas that we couldn't put the toe kicks and now we install it just like quarter rail we mitered our corners as you can see and now I want to show you how we finished off and how to cut a return so we want to make a finished end and that's what's called a return and now I'm going to show you how to cut it. Two cuts does this. Now you can use this return method on any type of quarter round. It doesn't have to be this angled quarter round that we're doing here. Um, but what you want to do is put the quarter round in place where you want it to end. Now we want our quarter round to end obviously where our, where our cabinet ends. So your first instinct is to mark it at the top corner. But that's not where you want to mark it. We want to put a mark on the bottom corner where that cabinet ends right there so that's our mark right there and now let's go out to the saw alright here's our handy dandy cobalt chop saw that we just got a good deal on double bevel miter sliding chop 20 volt thing's got all the bells and whistles that we love so real simple we have our, our end that we don't want to see. This is where we want it to end. This is going to be our little piece right here. So we're going to set it on a, a 45, inside 45. And we want that blade to hit. We want our blade to hit right at the top corner of this, but on this side of the top corner, not on this side. We want that top corner to still be there. That's our return right there. Now, we save that. Now our piece, we're going to cut at the outside corner. Remember I said mark the bottom? And that's where we want our blade to intersect with that, at that bottom corner. If we did the top corner, it would be way too long. And now, we want to make sure we leave that line on. Right there. Look at that. That's a finished end. That is nice. Now, the, the key to making this look really good is to glue these ends in. Um, I like to glue it today and then tomorrow. I can install the whole piece. Got a little bit of construction adhesive. This is some urethane PL stuff in the black tube. Look at that. That return is now glued on. It's set overnight. So we have one solid piece. Now we're going to use our DeWalt nailer and we're going to put these in. But we're also going to put a little glue. I'm using the Loctite Power Grab Zero Second Grab. We're also going to use this to make sure that they stay down. We want to be flush with the end of the cabinet, which is our new toe kick that we installed there. So we are using cedar tan. We've caulked all around on the tops, corners, and now the nail holes. And that just finishes it off. We have some excess. Oh, you're gonna wipe. You're gonna wipe the excess off. 
Yeah, it's come back around. Okay, great, great. That just finishes it in along the top. Now it looks built in. Wow, and that is all there is to it. That is homemade quarter round with a return on our island. We made our toe kicks. We made our quarter round, and that's a custom kitchen. If you enjoy videos like this, please, we need your help to promote our channel. YouTube doesn't promote us as much as they should, so sharing, liking, subscribing, and please turn those notifications on. That helps us more than you realize. Also, we have a PayPal link down here. We're trying to get some better camera and audio equipment. Check it out. It's in the description. If you're new to the channel, you're going to want to check out all of our other content. We have lots of great videos on how to install wood, laminate, and vinyl floors, plus my favorite product reviews. I review wood, laminate, and vinyl, even put them head to head. I run them over, I dunk them, I smurge them, I do whatever it takes to find out which of these floors are best for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, I want you to take out your favorite flooring mallet, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And thanks for watching.